just got back from hunting figures. Shopping bags pretty fine, bitches. Filters call, got a pickup figures. Look at me, I'm a geek, tripping. Future waves, I will be copping. Come check me, you know I got it. Figure what? Small from legends, dudes doing them reviews, fella. What's going on? It's your boy, that was dude. And you know I got it, so subscribe. What's going on? It's your boy that was doing today. We're doing another action figure review today. We bring you Hasbro Marvel Legends series, Captain America Civil War Entertainment Earth exclusive three pack of the Marvel Cinematic Universe versions of Spider Man, Battle Damage, Captain America, and Battle Damage Iron Man Mark. 46. Big shout out to my man Danny Espana for hooking me up with this three pack at wholesale price. My man hooked it up, man. He hit me up and said, Yo, yo, hey, yo, dude, what's good? I got the three pack. Just give me what I paid for it, and it's yours. So I did. I really appreciate what you do for me, man. You do a lot for me, Danny. You know, you gave me the. You hooked me up with the movies and all that stuff. So, I really appreciate that very much. Thank you so much. Uh, it doesn't go unnoticed. If it wasn't for you, this review would not be possible. And I wouldn't be able to get it out there. Again, I thank you. So, as you can see here, I'm not going to get into it with these two guys. Because I already filmed the review through the Giant Man Wave. But, I haven't posted it yet. I know. But, I'm still not going to go into it. I'm going to just give you guys a closer look at the, bot the Battle Damage look. And uh, you guys, you know, fend for yourself. So first I'm going to look into Cap. So we got the Battle Damage Shield. Looks real cool. I like how some of the scratches look nice. I wish you would have had, kind of looks like the Black Panther scratching it. But uh, we already know Black Panther did a better scratch than that. Uh, but I like the, the dirtiness, the dirt on here, the burnt, the burnt look. We got all that here. There, yeah, the paint scrape off, even at the edge, man. At the edge of the shield, you see it. Looking cool. Then you got some dirt here on the white. On his helmet, you can barely see the A now. Visible. Then you got the dirt on his legs. Then you got on his back. He don't really have nothing. Which is kind of stupid, given that it's not battle damage. Nothing happened on the back. You know, he did fall on his back a couple times. You got some dirt on his shoulder. Get that dirt off your shoulder. You got to get that. Got it on the star. Look cool. And then, next we got my 42 Iron Man. You got the battle damage right there. Some paint chip here. The shoulder. Right here on the leg. Should have been way more, but it is what it is. Um, he comes with these two blast effect accessories, and he also comes with two more, which he should have did in his mass release. Should have came with these also. So these are fire effects for his flying. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to give these to War Machine. Since I already have the original release to this figure, I'm just going to make the re the blue repulsor blasts go for his feet also. They do fit anyway, and I will demonstrate that here. We see fits perfectly fine. So what I'll do is again, I'll just use the blue effects for blast effects and both the hands and feet for for both releases for the battle damage and for the original. So these are going to War Machine. Besides, the red color, the red orange color looks better with War Machine anyway. So on that note, I'm gonna put this to the side and we're gonna get into Spider Man. But first, we're gonna take a look at the packaging. And you can see the packaging, of course. Big front window. Legend series at the top. Then on the bottom, on the blue stripe, you see the names of Spider-Man, Captain America, and Iron Man. On the side of the picture, we got Cap. And on the other side, you got Iron Man. You can't really see that well. There we go. Got Iron Man's face. Then no Spidey, which kind of sucks, but whatever. Then on the top, you got another window. 
And in the back of the packaging is an image that features all three of these guys. <sighs> then it says Civil War Captain America. When the lines between right and wrong are crossed. I mean, this. When the lines between right and wrong are blurred, which heroes will emerge victorious? And as we know, no one emerged victorious. Well, the other accessories that the pack have is the Chris Evans head scope, which looks nothing like him, of course. We've seen this head scope a bunch of times. It's always the same thing over and over. And this is pretty new. We get a Robert Downey Jr. head scope. Looks like him. Looks enough like him to me to satisfy my need. Really like it a lot. Looks way better. I'm so happy I waited because, you know, I was actually going to put out money for the the UK 5-pack just to have that comic version. But since we got this one, I'm happy with it. So, And as we know by now, no one ever emerged victorious. It was a stalemate. <laughs> no, nah, I'm kidding. Anyway, and here goes the best figure out of that 3-pack. You got Spidey. Holding Cap Shield. Hey, hey everyone, man, and as you know, no one emerged victorious, it was a stalemate, nobody, I mean, people were hurt, but, you know, no side really won, the point got across, and everything became cordial, and here's the best figure in the three pack, of course, I only have one complaint about this figure, one. The colors are too damn dark. I don't recall them being this dark in the film. It should have been at least a little brighter. I would have kept the blue maybe the same color, but I would have made the red definitely pop a little bit more. But I really like this figure. I love this figure. I said like, but I love it. It's crazy, poseable. It's fun to play with. I haven't put it down since I've gotten it. I've been playing with it all the time, every chance I get. I have some paint splotches here and there, but that's nothing. I'm okay with that. I like everything about this figure. It is nice. Looks really good. I love the the sculpt work. All the spider webbing is sculpted on. The tribute. I love the tribute to his face, the classic looking face. I like the visor look. You can see that the eyes do expand through the visor. It looks really, really good, man. The only thing that kind of bothers me about this suit is the black racing trim. But that's fine. I know why they did that. Because they tried to give it some individuality. Because all the previous movie releases, the colors were pretty classic. You know, you know the, the look was a classic look. Just had a little spin on it. Me, me. I think the best Spider-Man um, uniform, honestly, is Amazing Spider-Man Two. That one's nice, but this one is this one's up there also. So I really like this one a lot. Um, the spider insignia on the chest is not the same one you see, we see in the movie. It's a bit different. Um, the legs are supposed to actually arch up, up and down, like straight, not like this. But that's fine. Um, the spider on the back is pretty cool. Uh, homage to the classic look. It's sculpted on. You can feel it. It's brilliant. Looks nice. I love all this trim. Everything. He man, he goes perfect, man. He's a, it's, it's a perfect Spider-Man figure. He's about the same height as the new release, I believe. <clears throat> the Ultimate Spider-Man from the Space Venom Wave. I think he is. No. Actually, he isn't. He should have been. Oh, he is. Just a tad small. That's nice. I think he should have been these, these colors. The way he looks here, this color's nice. Let me see something. The head from Ultimate Spider-Man fits on him perfectly fine. Looks good. I wish it was that red. I wish the Spider-Man was that red. It would have been awesome. But it looks good. I like it. 
Let me put the red, the right head back on. But it's nice. This is the best. <clears throat> so get a closer look. His articulation is awesome. His head goes up that much, looks down, side to side, no pivoting. He has armpit joints, butterfly joints, bow joint and shoulder, bicep swivel, double joint and elbows, wrist swivel, hinges forward and back. He has a beautiful ab crunch, waist swivel. His legs go out that much. Should go out further, but that's much better than pizza spidey. He kicks pretty damn high, goes back pretty high. Upper thigh swivel, double jointed knee, no boot, no boot swivel, which would have been cool. His ankle pivots and his hinges forward and back. I gotta tell you, man, this figure is really dope. It's really poseable. Very, very poseable. I had him, I had him doing a McFarlane pose when I first got him, like that. Because even McFarlane says him when he used to draw Spidey. He 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 didn't have the laws of anatomy in mind. He should just go all out because a spider should be able to flex and bend almost any angle. So had him like that. Oh man, looking really nice. This is my homage to issue eight, Spider Man. Issue eight when he f when uh, Wolverine and uh, him fight Wendigo. Something similar to this look right here. Boom. Love this figure. You definitely want to pick up this three-pack, man. It will not disappoint. And what I like, too, the legs pop off pretty easy. So you can't really break this figure unless you're really, really clumsy. Oh, see, like I just did just now. So. So again, you can't really break this figure unless you're really, really clumsy. The legs pop off pretty, pretty easy. So, see? So definitely pick up this thing, this three-pack. Uh, it's been popping up on Amazon. It popped up first on, in Canada, which is where uh, Shark and JC got theirs from. And... um. People have been spotting these at Toys R Us, too. I don't know how, but more power to them if they could get it. I suggest you get it. You will not be disappointed by this, this awesome figure. I can't wait for his homecoming movie. I cannot wait. Really like this figure so much, man. He might stay out for a while. I might not be putting him away in the bin for a long time. So that's the review. Hit the like button if you're feeling it. Leave a comment, subscribe if you haven't, like my Facebook page, follow my Instagram and Twitter. Let me guys let me know what you guys think about this three-pack, man. It's definitely a must-have. Holla at your boy. It's your boy that was due. And I'm out.